Hey, what's happening? I am the eBiz. Um, back in April on the 25th, One Page Rules released a major update to auto rule sets. It was 3.30. And then less than a month later, uh, today on May the 14th, uh, they just uh, released a new version of 3.31. I'm sure that there are plenty of experienced wargamers out there uh, on YouTube uh, uh, posting about their opinions about such a quick patch note release, especially for this one. Because what happened is that uh, they made major changes to the core rules, and then they turned around and kind of changed them back pretty much to like the way they were, except they put the new changes back into advanced rules. I like to think of my channel as a uh, new gamer friendly uh, people who are new to wargaming in general uh, much like I am so I'm just learning along with you guys who are new to wargaming so uh, I just like to uh, uh, talk about these changes from a new gamers point of view if you allow me before 3.30 I was getting comfortable with the one page the core rule set uh, except for like a certain things that happen with special uh, units like the uh, the core rules rule set made a lot of sense to me and I really liked it um, when they released uh, 3.30 uh, they added the assault action and they changed the way the stun uh, worked which is it's not stun it's shaken and uh, I was I was I, I'm actually kind of like the uh, the shaken rule but then they changed that back to stun but it's still shaken but whatever and then um, the assault action, uh, I kind of like the way they put that into the uh, advanced rule set and just got rid of that. As far as a new YouTuber, I guess I would say that I'm a little frustrated that, you know, I'm trying to put out battle reports and uh, the rules are already out of date for those two battle reports that I put out. Granted, I've kind of messed up the rules as I was doing the battle reports a little bit, but I'm still learning the game as I go. And it's kind of really, it's actually really hard to, uh, actually do a battle report the way I'm doing with where I'm focusing on the lighting and in the uh, kind of doing this the way I'm doing the structure and trying to rem remember that I have all the rules straight and all the procedures straight I'm learning that was like kind of a difficult uh, thing on its own but I'm getting a little bit better at it and I'm trying to be really particular at it. so hopefully the next couple of battle reports are going to be like you know top-notch but after saying that I'm a little frustrated, um, I'm actually kind of impressed and uh, kind of encouraged the way One Page Rules has turned around and uh, did another update, even though it's a little annoying that you know we're just going to get updates and updates and everything. Hopefully they're just going to you know leave this, but I am kind of impressed and and uh, excited and encouraged that they are actually listening to the fan base and trying to do something to uh, make you know some people happy. Now back to the frustrating part, uh, there will be a really cool um, Age of Fantasy skirmish battle report coming out within the next week or something like that, but uh, I can't remember if I if the shaken rule is going to apply on that. I know I didn't haven't used assault yet, but uh, you know it might be out of date already. So besides that, let's talk about 2020. But you didn't see that coming. Back in August of 2020, a massive multiplayer online mobile game called Eve Echoes came out, and I kind of got into it. Um, I got pretty decent at it, uh, good enough to I got into a good corporation, and we had fun roaming around the stars and ruining people's days, and wreaking havoc, slapping cheeks, and uh, just hanging out with buddies in the corporation and have a good time. How the hell did Ebiz can sneak? his way into getting the final blow again. What the uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That f***ing bastard. He didn't have a timer. Didn't he have a timer? Yeah, he did. Hey. He, we left him in the last system and he still got the kill mail in this system. Psh, slapping cheeks all night. Um, our corporation specialized in using smaller ships like frigates and uh, they're the smaller, faster, and less expensive. And we were able to always get like enough people together to do a, a roam during the night and just have fun and get organized. And we are organized enough that we we're able to just take down like way bigger ships than we should have and just like have a lot of fun doing it. 
the game developers kept updating the game as they should and uh, added more content. But every time uh, they uh, updated the game and added more content, there was less and less content that involved the smaller ships that we flew and everything. So uh, it wasn't really catering to our playstyle. Even some of the uh, more popular YouTubers, uh, you know, they were they're voicing their opinions about it and everything. And, uh, you know, saying that, hey, we need more content that will help our playstyle and that help our uh, audience and views and everything. But, um, you know, uh, the, the devs wouldn't listen to them. And they really want to focus on making content for the bigger ships because the bigger ships cost more money in game to make, you know, and more money to make and maintain. So all the content just went towards the bigger stuff. So eventually my corporation just fell apart. People quit playing the game. Uh, even some of the major YouTubers just like either stopped playing the game or just went on to something else. Um, I'm bringing this up because there were major changes to the core of the game. And active players that tested the playstyles had concerns about and questions about the game. And apparently the developers uh, for One Page Rules, unlike the uh, developers for Eve Echoes, One Page Rules listened to their, their audience and everything. And they did something about it, which is like very encouraging. I mean, think about it. Disney's not going to call up all the eBiz and apologize for bringing about Palpatine. Uh, watering down the sacrifice that uh, Vader made for Luke during the last couple of minutes of Return of the Jedi. They're just not going to do that. So apparently One Page Rules is a type of company that, are, that is willing to uh, listen to the people on the Discord and social media like Facebook and, uh, you know, of course, YouTube and, uh, and other people throughout the community. And uh, they're willing to kind of like, you know, hey, we hear you. Let's do something about it. And I think that's kind of cool. You know, like I am a graphic designer. So when they released the new rule sets um, with the uh, cool artwork and uh, the nice color background and everything, I, I was I think it looks kind of sharp and I really enjoy it. Uh, I myself was kind of surprised, uh, kind of looking on social media and um, seeing how many people were kind of upset that it wasn't as printer friendly as you know the as the old uh, uh, rule sets used to be and. Um, they went out of their way and they've added like a whole new set of, rule of uh, rules that are more printer friendly. I mean, that's that's just crazy. We live in a time where they're going to make it cheaper for you to print to get you into this game. And there's other bigger companies that have just, uh, you know, up the prices on other models. In the long run, uh, I think that... Um, you know, OPR needs to be a little careful about changing rules uh, so much and trying to appease everybody. You can't please everybody. Um, I'm sure that there are people upset about the assault rule uh, just being ripped out. And but I am happy that they put it in the advanced rule set and everything. So, you know, you can still play it if you want to. Uh, I personally think that the uh, core rules should be simple like they are now, uh, just because like it's easy to get other people into the game and um you know there's just less questions that come up with a certain advanced units that you know i'm not going to get into it but like when when you're trying to run a game demo you know you just want it to be kind of simple enough that people can like pick it up within a couple of turns and then they just hit the ball running and then they can figure out the hard stuff when uh, they start building their armies and everything but you know like i said if uh, we live in an age where like my personal hometown has plenty of bars and cool uh, places that have uh, big tables where people actually show up and play board games and stuff. And I personally thought about like, you know, uh, hosting demo nights and, you know, trying to show off some OPR. But, you know, it'd be helpful if uh, one page rules doesn't, you know, make an update every month. You know, that would be kind of helpful. But hopefully we're, you know, we're stabilizing a little bit and uh, we can kind of hit the ball running now. Anyways, that's just my newbie Wargamer opinion. Um, thanks for listening to it, I guess. You know, I have a ton of respect for uh, any of you uh, seasoned veterans out there uh, that are uh, talking about uh, all these changes on the uh, YouTube and the Discord and everything. Um, I've, I've, like I said, I have a lot of respect for it. I enjoy watching and hearing about it on uh, YouTube and podcasts and everything. So uh, here's to you guys. And uh, 
I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about this latest update. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a battle report that will apparently will be uh, maybe a little out of date. I don't know. We'll see how it works in post and everything. But uh, it will be a new uh, Age of Fantasy skirmish game. I'm pretty happy with it and everything. Check you guys later.